It's Parachute 2014, and we are in the Rima Media Tent with the very lovely, the very talented New Zealand musician, Julia Grace. Woo! I think visited by a fly. Yes, there are many actually, flies a about. It's a festival More atmosphere. More of them around you, actually, now that I've noticed. There was only one on me and quite a few over that way. Yeah, okay, well, that makes sense. I'll send them over. Thank you for pointing that out, <laughs> how very rock and roll our lifestyle yeah, is. Oh, we are, we are. Hey, um, I don't want to make you feel old, but uh, <laughs> actually you and I have known each other for many, many years, yes. going all the way back to when you were in a little band called Elevator. Yes. I mean, actually, how long have you been doing music for now? Oh, actually, my first public performance was when I was four years old. Oh, wow. And um, I did a, a big event at church, it about a thousand people, and I sung Send in the Clowns, <laughs> which I thought was appropriate because the music industry is full of them. Oh, yeah. there we go. Da Okay, and so when did you sort of um, get into, I mean, your first big band, I guess, and start to do it as a, as a career? Well, when I, I joined Elevator when I was um, in my early 20s, and before that I'd been doing musicals at school and at church and uh, worship, worship leading, worship teams. Um, when I joined Elevator, we started sort of writing and creating more artistic kind of music, and out of there I became a solo artist. And I've continued to do uh, much of the other stuff along the way, but my main focus has been... Julia Grace writing my own songs. Yeah, I mean, you must listen to the music of, say, Lord now and think, hey, I was doing this sort of thing 15 years ago. Yeah. You know, yeah kind of the electronica, <laughs> little bit <laughs> yeah, eclectic. We <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I said to, I was on the backstage of Deluxe before, I said to my daughter, so I'm amazed at how many bands there are that sound like Elevator now, yeah. and yet at the time they didn't quite know what to do with us. So yeah. I was like, oh, this is all a bit new. And now it's become it's become quite normal. It's Before quite your time. Oh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I've moved on. <laughs> yeah. Now a very exciting uh, project, which is your, your most recent, called It as well, which is just five tracks, but just beautiful versions of uh, classic hymns. Thank you. Yeah. Tell us about this one and the uh, story behind why you wanted to make it. I have um, written this album and oh, recorded this album and dedicated it to my grandma. My grandma and I had a very close bond and I chose five of her and my favourite hymns. And I've had a really, really rough sort of two year period in my life. And um, as part of that, I've, I've kind of run back to the pillars of my life. And one of my pillars of my life have been the songs of my childhood. So I've kind of revisited, reworked um, some of those songs that meant a lot to me um, throughout the process. And they've been incredibly um, healing and uh, just sort of uplifting to me in that time. So it was cool to sort of get them down and then to sort of spread the, Spread the joy, I guess. Yeah. So when you're sitting down and you're thinking, well, so many wonderful hymns yeah. throughout the centuries, which ones am I going to choose? Was it kind of obvious? And then how do you approach doing a version of them that people go, oh, you, you sort of butchered that, or yeah. that was lovely? <laughs> Were you worried it's about always the fear. Because everybody knows those songs, yeah. don't they? It's, it's hard because you're sort of rewriting a classic in a sense and you want to respect the song, but you want to make it part of your own story. And so I think, um, they, they were immediately obvious to me when, when they were the right songs to pick. I just knew it was either a song that um, I could do my own version of that didn't sort of change it too much, or one that I could sort of completely rewrote and sort of revisited the heart of the song. Um, and I guess as an artist, you just do it your own way. So you're always kind of uh, putting your own flavour on anything and, you know, try and do it just as authentically as possible. Yeah, and you recorded the album with genuine musicians using genuine yeah. instruments. Yeah. And you can say that because actually it's not always the way these yeah. days. <laughs> what was that experience yeah. like? Because what you've come out with, I think, is a very organic sounding album that you must be very proud of. It was a beautiful, really fast process. We mm. smashed it out in a couple of days, to be honest with you. Um, and we went into a beautiful old church, worked with a very small team who I know very, very well. and. Um, it was just, yeah, we, we used, like you say, the real, the real thing, a stunning, beautiful grand piano. We used beautiful guitars and drums, and, and we used the space and the sound in the room um, to add to the, the quality of the sound. And I yeah. think it just came out, um, you know, you can do stuff fast using studio trick uh, trickery, yeah. and you can do stuff quickly using, um, yeah, I guess the, the modern technology. But we chose to do it sort of the, the old way the and old to get fashion. into the old church. And um, yeah, and I think it, it came out very, very naturally. Yeah. 
Um, I've never actually asked you this, but is your your grandmother not not alive these days? No, she died yeah. when she was ninety nine. Okay. Actually, wow. yeah. yeah. Um, and we shared a we shared a birthday. She was seventy on the same day that I was seven. So we were really tight. Yeah. Me and my grandma were really cool. But um, yeah, she would have loved the album though. She would have loved it. She absolutely would have. So yeah, she made it tonight and didn't quite get it to hundred. She didn't get her tweet from the Queen. Um, as you probably <laughs> Is it a tweet days. These I don't days? know. Does Kate Middleton like <laughs> Facebook you? OMG, you got to hundred. Um, but you just they I, I just think she would have um, I think she would have really enjoyed it. And I know my my parents have enjoyed my mum has enjoyed listening to it and, and many other people. And sort of young and old, so like it hasn't um, I didn't set out to make a an old yeah. person's project for my grandma particularly. I just wanted to make something that I love and that I hopefully other people love it as well. Uh, you mentioned it before that you had a pretty tough couple of years uh, and you've described the album to me before as a bit of a healing process yeah. going through it. Brand new year, yep. brand new hopes. Yeah. Um, what are you hoping for in 2014 and, and the years to come? Um, I'm referring to this this season of my life as chapter two. Okay. So I feel like I feel like the, the chapter two concept is, is a God sort of concept. As a, as a writer um, and, and as a songwriter, I'm always looking for ideas. And so this chapter two, I think, is speaking to me a lot. Um, so I'm just looking at how to define that, how to um, communicate that. Um, I've been doing a lot of speaking, preaching on coping in crisis, what to do when your life's actually fallen apart. And um, so part of it is a song. And part of it is, is the writing and part of it is the speaking. And I think I'm just kind of weaving those parts together. Um, my encouragement with people, this, the message of my life has been that, that struggle makes you stronger. And um, I really wish I'd picked a better topic because I've been <laughs> tested on it so many times. I wish I'd picked Money Makes You Happy because that would have been awesome. But um, I picked Struggle Makes You Stronger and I have been tested on that over and over again. And my hope and dream for this chapter two is that um, I have been tested enough <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that it's kind of, yeah, that, that I have learnt enough from that. I um, am not naive to think that life is a bit of roses from here on, but I believe that I've learnt a lot from this season. And I think my job is to use that in any way I can yeah. to help other people to grow. Well, amen to that. And thank you so much for the music. Thank and you. here's to an amazing 2014. Ladies and thank gentlemen, you. Julia Grace. Thank you. Aww, thanks. Always a pleasure, Luke. Yeah. Woohoo!